And today was just one of those days that we could soak up the sunshine. Beautiful weather as we take a look at the western sky over Tuscaloosa County where we're seeing plenty of sun. But I got to tell you, once that sun sets this evening, those temperatures are going to drop pretty quickly. The northern portion of the state still dealing with some clouds. That's the part of the state that was the coolest this afternoon. All of us, though, dealing with those winds gusting again, just like yesterday, 20 to 30 miles an hour. Winds gusting now to 28 in Aniston, 30 miles an hour in Birmingham. So that coupled with these cooler temperatures, making it feel a little chilly, especially in the shade this afternoon. 68 degrees in Birmingham at 72 in Tuscaloosa, yet at 60 in Coleman, only 55 degrees with the cloud cover in place up in Fort Payne. Now you take a look at the bigger picture and how things will shape out overnight tonight through tomorrow. How about this middle 40s, maybe some low 40s for low temperatures early tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, though, lots of sunshine. It'll be a really nice Monday afternoon with those high temperatures just a few degrees warmer than today. Getting up into the 70s also won't be windy tomorrow like it has been for the last couple of days. Quiet on the WVTM 13 live Doppler. So thankfully getting a little bit of a break from the showers and thunderstorms, at least for the next couple of days. Watch our forecast model showing generally clear skies out there this evening and overnight tonight our Monday featuring lots of sunshine. So very quiet through Tuesday afternoon. Then the rain chances go way up starting overnight Tuesday night and especially heading into our Wednesday. We're calling Wednesday an impact day and that's because showers and thunderstorms are likely and will likely impact any outdoor plans you have in place. Initially quiet conditions out there late Tuesday night, but watch the cold front coming in, bringing in showers and thunderstorms. The big question mark is going to be the instability. Does it build up enough to give us a threat for some strong to severe thunderstorms? That's something we'll have to iron out still over the next couple of days. But one thing's certain, we're going to see a return to wet weather just for one day on Wednesday. Other than that, the forecast looking pretty nice through Friday. Pleasant temperatures for the end of the week, making it back up into the upper 70s and early indications point toward very warm weather next weekend. Sunny skies and highs climbing well up into the 80s. You're watching WVTM 13.